Greetings and welcome to today's session. Uh, in today's session, I'm basically going to show how you can at least host your website freely on GitHub. So after designing your website, for example, I've designed my item too as a website using WordPress. So when you look at my website like this, I've designed it offline. It has the homepage. It has about us. It has the showroom. Uh, it has the contact us page, which has even an online application form. And you would like to host this kind of website so that you can share a link to your friend to look at it instead of maybe keeping it on your computer locally. We want to see how we can use uh, GitHub to host it freely. Now, what you need to do is to ensure that you have an email, an active email address. So this is my email address that I'm going to use. Uh, Bernard Kakuru, 01 at gmail.com is the one I'm going to use. Now, we are going to go to GitHub. GitHub.com, sign up. So we want to sign up for an account. So when you reach on this page, we begin. So I'm going to put my email address. I press continue. Then I can create a password. So something like that, I've put my password. I continue. I enter my username. My username I can use, uh, let's say, I can say Kakuru. Then I continue. Kakuru is not available. Okay, I can say uh, Kakuru B, something like that. Let me make this even capital. Kakuru B, then I continue. Then from there, you can choose to receive occasional product updates and announcements, or you can just continue. So I'm going to continue. From here, I'm supposed to verify my account. So we verify. I tap on verify. So they are asking me to use the arrows and position this to the other one. So we can now confirm that we are not robots. I submit. Uh, this one, I'm supposed to turn the house that side. I submit. And here, the house to face this kind of direction. I submit. So this one was not correct. Let's try again quickly here. The shoe face that side. I submit. Then here the shoe faces that side, submit. And then this one faces that side, we submit. I think that is it, this one is okay. It has been verified. So at this point, they have sent a code in our Gmail account. So I go to my Gmail, this is a code from GitHub. I can copy this code. I paste it here, it will be verified. So from here, we can now log in. My username is Kakurubi, like that. Then I enter my password. I sign in. So after signing in, uh, you can confirm a few things, how many team members will be working with you can say just me and I can say I'm a student or a teacher. So any of these, then you can continue. Then here, can continue again. And from here, choose to continue for free because we want to see how to host our website for free on github.com. So at this point, we are going to create a new repository in our name. So for example, Kakuru B, and then I put dot GitHub, like that, dot IO. So this is important on every account that you create. So using the name here, you add on dot GitHub dot IO. 
make it public and say create a new repository so after doing that it will take you to your dashboard and from here you click on upload an existing file so i click upload an existing file and the existing file we are going to upload these ones in our folder so this i can drag and drop here so they are going to be uploaded here one by one the files are being uploaded so once the upload is complete you will see all the files here so now they are here they have been uploaded so here we can <coughs> add a commit changes so we can commit ourselves and say uh, project files added something like that you can even add an exceptional description or you leave and say commit changes so from here they are processing uh, our files and finally we are here you can see they have been completed and they look like the way they were in our folder so when you look at our folder the way they are arranged here is the way they have been put here so congratulations our site is now live so in case we want to view it we are going to do that this is enough here so this link when i copy it and i put it in a new tab and i press enter we should be able to view our website uh so here our website is now hosted and it is live you can see you can see that that the website is now live for example if i open a new tab for example i've opened firefox i may paste my link kakurubi.github.io you can also test it out there after watching the video put that and press enter you should be able to see this website that has been hosted and the hosting here is for free big ups to github thank you for giving us this service and now we are able to build our websites and we test them for free the hosting part of it now if you haven't gotten these books this book about expression web when you design your website step by step using this book you are able to host it using .io because the files are well arranged according to the server's expectations then this one is a step-by-step -step guide to microsoft expression web you can order for these books uh, the books come with the cd that have support files and the softwares so continue to subscribe to my youtube channel for more of these video lessons there are a number of video lessons for example this video is about how to design websites using microsoft expression web then this one is about designing websites using wordpress you can see it and many more of the video lessons so subscribe for more of these updates and share the link channel to our colleagues get these books to boost your skills in the world of developing websites jabris